What's up guys, today I'm going to talk to you about, uh, well, the most profitable way to make gold ever in uh, World of Warcraft. Uh, we're going to look at an example from Season of Discovery. I don't think this method works particularly well in retail right now, but it's great. So what we're looking at is flipping high-end gear. What does that mean, flipping? For those of you completely unfamiliar with gold making, you're going to buy something for cheap and you're going to sell it more expensively on the auction house. We have some examples up on the um, up on the resale uh, summary here, we've seen that I've bought and sold some Fiery Wrath capes um, for like 12, 15 gold pro profit per item, which is pretty good for Season of Discovery. Uh, that's pretty good for Season of Discovery. So why is this so good? Why does this work? Well, there's multiple different reasons, but the main one is that, well, good gear is the thing people want the most in World of Warcraft. That's what they really, truly care about. They want to be strong. They want to have, do more damage. They want to do harder content that requires better gear. So this is the thing that people are most interested in investing their hard-earned gold into. So, um, so yeah, people are will generally willing to pay quite a lot for high-end gear. Um, so if any high-end gear is sellable on the auction house, then that's going to be an item that you can sell on the auction house for a lot of gold. Now, if you're talking about flipping, there's the second part about this. Uh, is you need to be able to find it cheap. So how do you do that? Well, it needs to be an item that somehow people can have a significant chance to to post for, for less than what it's worth. So when does this generally happen? This doesn't happen for every type of item. Um, so as an example, like the Invokers um, set from, uh, um, from Tailoring, uh, this would probably never happen. This is a crafted item. Anyone who has this recipe can craft them at however money they care about. They can craft them forever. Really easy to get the materials. Uh, so there's always going to be a ton of these up on the auction house. So if I come and sell mine, then I'm going to just post it at the same value as everyone else. Um, and people can just craft more, so there's never going to be anything that I can buy here to flip. This is also true for anything that has a really high drop rate, if it's something that you get from out in the world. Um, then there would just be too many of them on the auction house. Um, and people would then easily price them correctly and you won't be able to get them for cheap. Now, what the items we're looking for is items that have different variants, they're very rare, um, or there's some other way where there's a very high chance that there's going to be zero, maybe even just one other auction on the auction house, which makes it really hard for people who don't have auction house add-ons or don't care about the game that much to understand if the item is valuable or not. And uh, the one item type that I've been seeing this with uh, a lot in, in Season of Discovery Classic is this sort of spell power gear, like the Fiery Wrath um, Uncommon gear. So this is an affix that can spawn on items that just means that they have pure fire spell power uh, on them, which is really good for certain specs. Um, and due to how bad low level itemization is for casters in Classic, uh, some of these items are even the best in slot option for, for their respective slot. Uh, so some of these items, like the Durable Cape, this is plus 9 fire spell damage on um, on your back. This is the best possible cloak available for fire casters in, in Classic, uh, Season of Discovery. So this is obviously a very, very interesting item to flip, and it's one of the ones I've had success with. Um, so you can see here, let's say the Sage's Cloak of Fiery Wrath, there's just one on the auction house. Right now this is probably okay priced. I've sold this one for 30 gold in the past. Um, so you could definitely sell this for more to the right person. Um, but if if this, this guy, when he posted his auction, he had nothing to go on for pricing. He had to set the price himself, decide what's a reasonable price for this item. We can see that for, for many items here, there's just one on the auction house. And then for a couple of them, there's two. Um, so here we're obviously going to price, this would be priced at the same level. These can sell for 30 gold, um, but uh, I'm not sure. Like right now we're in the wind down phase. So um, so we'll see. Like I was originally planning to make this video specifically a guide for flipping in this market. Uh, but I started uh, writing the script the same day they announced phase two. Um, and I don't think this is a great market to get into right now. So this is more sort of a case study. Like this is how it works. This is why it works. Uh, and there are hopefully going to be similar items in phase two, uh, because this is the way that you can really lazily do gold making because like selling one item will make you more gold than selling um, tens, 20, hundreds of shadow protection potions for a little bit of profit per.
Um, so yeah, this this gear is great. So I looked through the guides on all on Wowhead for all of the casters, and I realized that the capes in particular are actually best in slot. There's a couple of other slots where uh, the random fiery wrath or shadow wrath items are very good and competitive. Uh, but so far, I've only sold the capes, but we've made like 30 gold profit. What was it? 28, 27 gold profit on the two capes I've sold. I have one more left, so hopefully I can move that in a reasonable amount of time. Um, so yeah, this is um, that's how sort of this works. It, in the past, this has been a great moneymaker in retail. For those of us who remember Legion uh, and the Titan forging era, where items could roll with 5, 10, 15 extra item level. Then the higher item level items were variants were worth a lot, and there was just a ton of different variants. Very hard to use the auction house to price your items correctly, and you could make tons of gold with this. So we'll see how this goes when we come into uh, uh, phase two of Season of Discovery, or whether this is going to be a thing in the War Within again. Uh, hopefully it is. Um, I'll also be, be paying attention to once the, we see what's happening in phase two, if there are items uh, or item types that this makes sense for in the next um, phase as well. I think that the spell power gear in particular is very likely to um, have some slots where uh, random greens are still very, very good, if not outright best in slot, unless they nail the entire itemization for all, from all of Gnome Um So, yeah. Anyway, that's it. This is the general idea behind what I think is the most profitable way to make gold in, in World of Warcraft, the most time efficient by far also the most risky because you're spending tons of gold on any one item um but yeah now you know